Hamlin could drop in line right there, and he did. He got in front of his team. Oh, there's oh. Well, the More cars oh, the no, it's... Cars sliding. Marcus Ambrose yep, it's Casey Mears and Marcus Ambrose. It's Casey Mears, the 13, that they just had left. Caution. I'm just so... Those lap cars are so hard to get around when you're coming up on them 20 mile an hour faster than the lap car is going. And there's Mears. And Ambrose gets away after that big spin. Fortunate, Daryl, that more cars weren't involved. It, it, it looked like it was going to be a lot of them, but they uh, they all got them straightened out. So let's have a look. Here's Casey Mears, and watch the blue car, the 43 of Eric Elmarola, as this gets started. This gets real tight heading off in the corner down here again. Casey is getting lapped. Stenhouse got into Almirola across the front of Mears and then Ambrose. Almirola got loose. Looked like he got loose. Well, he didn't get touched. Just about. <laughs> I'm telling you, he just barely slid through there after that happened. It looked like he just Thank got loose. To the nine car, Marcus Ambrose. He's got quite a bit of body damage. I don't know if it's going to be uh, bad enough to take him out of contention or not. Look at Almirola right there. Will be nice save. And then he almost gets clipped. Right he almost T-bones at wow. 13. Well, and two of those cars, the 9 and 43, are teammates at Richard Petty Motorsports, Ambrose and Al Marola. But Ricky Stenhouse was trying to move from the outside to the middle. And that hole just wasn't open. Boy, he just not get down on the apron very often in the trouble and get it straightened up and keep on going. So the caution waves with 22 laps to go. There's Let's Stenhouse see. in the number six. Oh, he got loose, yeah. There's he the hit first Stenhouse. With the 43. I, th I think the 13 was just forcing the 43. He had nowhere to go, and the six was on the outside there, and they didn't make contact. Goodbye, caution con. Flip Boyer gets the free pass. Ricky Stenhouse. Uh, it's more like the 43 seemed to me like may have gone up a little bit as, as much as loose, the Stenhouse yeah. tried to come down. I think it was just getting tight right there as they went by the slow car of mirrors. Darrell, we talked about it earlier in the show, the trial oval here. It, it, it is one of the most treacherous places of this racetrack. Well, you're running the same speed through the trial oval that you are in the, you know, in, through the turns. You're running 200 mile an hour through here, and you don't have but 18 degrees of making. So the car gets really light and gets really loose as you come through here. 